I've decided I want to get back into making videos again because I used to make them fairly often whenever I had a good idea that I wanted to try out um, but I haven't actually made any in quite a while um, not any regular basis anyway um, but I want to start making videos again and I've decided the best way to do it is to think what kind of things do I want to talk about um, and I thought maybe things like conventions, cosplay, um, just anything fun um, and possibly nerdy that I want to talk about um, so that's what I want to start focusing on. So when I've been to an event, uh, like an anime convention or any kind of convention, um, I'm going to make a video, basically like a con report, um, talking about that. And if I'm working on a cosplay, maybe a few uh, videos about that, about how that's going, work in progress, that kind of thing. Um, or if I've read a book I think is worth talking about, or seen a film I want to, I think is worth talking about. So really just start talking about stuff I actually want to talk about, what people might find interesting. So I have just come back this weekend from Kitacon, and Kitacon is an anime convention that is held in August every year, and this year it was held at Warwick University. Uh, in the past it has been held at Birmingham Hilton, uh, near the NEC, which is where it was when I first went back in 2012, um, and it was there in 2015 as well. Um, I actually didn't mind the location of the of Kitacon when it was in the Hilton because it was it was good. it was a nice hotel had a nice conference room where they had the ball and some of the big panels and the opening ceremony and stuff and as I say we were staying in the Hilton uh, in 2015 so we were just upstairs uh, which was very convenient the only downside really about it was the food there was just very little food available you had to go to the NEC to get any food. Um, they put on street food and there was a bar, but it was all rather expensive. So that, for me, was the biggest downside. Otherwise, I loved it. So Kitacon came back this year and he, they decided to have a better venue, which is Warwick University, which is where a lot of the anime conventions is held. Amecon's held there now, so is uh, Iacon used to be. Um, fortunately, Iacon finished in uh, 2013. Um, and it is a really good university campus, um, which lends itself to good um, theatres, uh, good bars, good places to eat and of course a um, really nice structure of the campus which I took a little video of when I first got there That's the queue This is where people would be hangs out when there's nothing else to do and to be on this panel so I just started the idea so there is nothing else to do and I have just registered and I'm now just waiting for everybody else to come so oh look there's a My Hero Academia cosplay which is really cool I'm waiting for everyone else to pop up and then we're gonna have some fun and tomorrow I'm gonna be in cosplay. So how did the actual convention go for me? Well, um, I was there the entire time and I was staying on campus, which was really handy. Um, I, was even, I was actually staying quite close to the actual main area as well, so it didn't take me long to go back and forth, which was really handy. Um, the convention itself was good. I went to quite a lot of panels. Um, I even went to see some anime, which was something about a zombie. Uh, which was a guy who was a zombie who then also became a magical girl zombie and was pestered by three very annoying women. Uh, one didn't talk, which made her less annoying, but oh, Jesus, I'm so glad there was only two episodes because I couldn't have watched more of that. But it was good to check out some anime. Um, I went to some panels, went to one on My Little Pony, which was talking about the history of My Little Pony as well as it is today and with a little quiz. I used to really like My Little Pony when it made its resurgence with the uh, Friendship is Magic. I got I used to watch that quite a lot, and uh, haven't watched it for quite a while, and I never really got into My Little Pony when I was a kid, but it was still a fun panel, because you could tell they were very passionate about My Little Pony, as was Cell and Archer, who, yeah, they might as well have won the panel, personally. Have you seen? Come on now. Wow, I didn't think you'd get that one. Yeah, very good. That's Come on now. She was the hardest to get, the original G. It's true. Yeah. yeah. I just picked her because she was And they said, they said it was because she's racist. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, kimono. Oh, oh, there was a huge thing about it. <laughs> and then there was a. There was, the thing about I love about um, these anime conventions is not all the panels are like anime. In fact, I went to. A convent, I went to a panel on Red Dwarf, Who Wants to Be a Smeghead, which was basically just a quiz. So they would ask, a guy would ask a question, you put your hand up, answer the question, and you got a point. And the first person, first three people to get 15 won prizes. I would have done, I love Red Dwarf. I know a lot of weird stuff about Red Dwarf, little obscure details. Um, I wasn't quite fast enough though, and the people, oh my god, this guy didn't think that there would be enough Red Dwarf fans. He was sorely wrong. There were people who knew obscure stuff that I couldn't remember. And because I was a bit slow in processing the question and finding the answer, I didn't get as many points. I only got four. But the ones I got I was pretty proud of, because I think one of them no one else seemed to know. So that was handy. Um, so that was really fun. Um, they also had a panel on wrestling because the people who organise Kitacon are big wrestling fans, who knew? Um, so my boyfriend and I went along to that, because my boyfriend had never been to an anime con, had never been to these anime con before. Uh, I was a bit worried that he wasn't going to enjoy it. He seemed to like the panels he went to, but he didn't seem to enjoy the convention as a whole. It wasn't really his thing. Um, but yeah, I went to that. There was one on anime space disco. Uh, there was one on DMing, people who have um, never DMed before. So that was quite actually interesting as well. And of course, the highlights of it were the pub quiz, which they had on Friday night, which was really, really fun. Uh, the good thing about it is, it's not all anime. They had a gaming round, a retro round, a really difficult round, that kind of thing. Um, so we did actually, okay, we didn't, we didn't get first, second or third, but we didn't do too badly, I don't think. Um, but it was still fun. It's always a good laugh. And we had quite a lot of people on our team, so that was fun. Um, and of course, the end ball, because of course, to end the whole thing, they have a ball, which was really good. Unfortunately, um, we were a bit late. Most of us were late and missed the string quartet, which played for only an hour. And we got there after the first hour. So we had one more hour of the ball just playing romantic music, which was nice. And it was definitely nice having my boyfriend there. Because um, in the past I'd attended summer balls and anime balls and never had anyone to dance with. So it was nice to have my boyfriend there for that. And then after that it turns into a cheesy disco. And I do enjoy the cheesy disco. I'm not a fan of discos in general or clubbing or anything like that. I hate clubbing. Um, but anime conventions for some reason I really enjoy. Um, I really enjoy the disco. It's the atmosphere and the fact that, you know, you're on campus, so if you don't want to stay there till the end, you can go back. But I have found that these conventions are quite fun to stay till the end. And Kitacon, of course, is the party con. So, of course, they're going to party until, like, 2.30. And we did. And here's some footage of us partying. <laughs> this one against last, not last year's, but last Kitacon. In some ways I preferred this one for the fact that it was at Warwick, there was better places for food um, and it was, it's a really nice, uh, I think I enjoyed the party, actually I like enjoyed the party about equal for both of them because um, I think that was the first time I'd ever stayed up until 2.30 to party so it was, it was, it was fun. Um, 
but I think I probably enjoyed 2015 better in some ways. Um, but this one was definitely, uh, it was, it definitely had its highlights. It had its low points, unfortunately, as well for me, which I won't go into. But it was still, overall, I really did have a good time. And um, I also, ah, before I forget, I did also cosplay. Um, I'd never cosplayed at an anime convention before, so that, that was new. Um, and I went as a Razorhead from My Hero Academia, which is an anime um, show I've been getting into recently. Um, I even dyed my hair, because my hair is not usually black. I dyed my hair specifically for it because wigs are the devil. I want to burn wigs. They are horrible. And I think everyone um, had that sentiment as well. So, yeah, that was a fun thing to do, though. I'm, I'm glad I, I did that. Uh, I, I went to a meet, which was fun, but no one really... I didn't really get anyone notice my costume or care about my costume otherwise, but doing that meet was really fun, so I enjoyed that. Um, so, yeah, here are some other photos I took during the time, and I will talk about the next convention uh, when it comes. <laughs> 